We will now have a young man who has dedicated himself to bettering Rhode Island from a political standpoint. He is determined, and I don't think he gets much sleep with the work he has been doing. He is what the future of the youth need. His knowledge and energy is tireless. And with that being said, I would like to introduce you to Corey Jones, political director of Black Lives Matter Rhode Island PAC. I want to thank you guys for all being here. I want to thank Liz for giving me this platform. Um, my name's Corey, so a little bit of a backstory on who I am. My family is from Chicago. When I was really young, we moved to Iowa. So I grew up in a small town of 5,000 people, probably similar to this town. Um, we were the first black family in this whole town. So when I first moved there, I wanted to go back to Chicago so bad. I didn't know why we were here and um, I hated it. I hated it. But my mom told me, she kept telling me, you know, you're going to get a better education and that's why we're here. Just focus on your education and that'll get you out. So when I was really young, I used to act out a lot because, you know, I thought maybe if I was real bad, my mom would, you know, send us back. Um, and one time, you know, I went to the store and I stole some candy and I got caught by the, the lady at the front and I, I rushed home as soon as possible and I, I went in through the back door and I thought I, I thought that I got away and I walked into the living room and my mom was sitting there with a cop and I was terrified. <laughs> um, but I sat down and you know the, 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 the cop reassured me that you know I wasn't going to be arrested and uh, we went through a slideshow, a little presentation of you know why I needed to get it together and where I would end up if I kept this behavior going. Um, and you know that was you know the only example of a good cop that I had seen. Um, and you know that stuck with me because when I went back to my cousins and I told them what happened, they were like, "That's bizarre. They didn't kick in your door. They didn't you know." Um, attack your mom and then you know arrest your dad so I went back and I connected with this cop and I came to find out that she was actually disciplined for that night for not arresting me and so this is what we mean when we say you know all cops are bad all cops aren't bad but if you're in a bad system and it's upholding you know the, the, the current atmosphere then how can you be a good cop in a bad system so that cop later on was, you know, sexually harassed. Um, so that's a, there's a little bit of, you know, women equality involved in this too. And you know, she ended up suing the police department for seven hundred fifty thousand um, dollars. But that is what we mean when we say defund the police, because my police department in, in the town I lived in had about six different cops. So, you know, when I interacted with that cop, I had knew who she was, she knew who my mom was, and, you know, that was a, a good example of community policing. But when we say defund the police, we're saying we don't want people who are unaccessible to the community, who no one knows who they are, in the community, causing terror to people that they're not familiar with. So, you know, and AOC said it best. She said, when we say defund the police, we're saying we want the cities to look like the suburbs. We want the city's police to be like the suburbs where you don't have to worry about policing. They say that for every, they said that people of color and, and, and white people smoke marijuana at the same rates, but black people are about seven times more likely to be arrested for it. And when you look at that statistic, you have to go, the only reason that this is happening is because there is more police in the black communities than there are in the white communities. You know, end of story. So we have to look at these disparities and we have to make a decision over if, is this who our country is? Is this what we want to be the representation of who we are? So BLM All Right Pack is all about creating change through political advocacy, um, and we plan to take this to the legislative session. We plan to make a difference in the Senate and in the House. 
So if you guys are with us. If you guys are with us, you can go on blmripack.com and you can sign up to get involved. You can make a donation and you can buy an awesome shirt like this to support the cause for $25. So this is what we're planning on doing. We, plan, we, we are in solidarity with the people who are doing nonprofit work and working in the community, but we believe that we need a black pack to make change in our political system because we cannot continue with what we have. Thank you.